Now we are going to understand how to calculate the equivalent resistance using the symmetry of the network and to understand this topic clearly we must know what is vertical plane of symmetry and the horizontal plane of symmetry and we will begin our discussion with vertical plane of symmetry in short known as VPS and to understand vertical plane of symmetry let us take two points of any network let's say this point is point A and this point is point B and we are required to calculate the equivalent resistance between A and B that is R sub AB now whenever you have this type of situation and you think the network is symmetrical then try to make the vertical plane of symmetry and from the name itself we know it is a vertical plane now what type of vertical plane for that first join the two points and then draw a plane bisecting the line making 90 degrees with the line so this plane here is our vertical plane and we will call it vertical plane of symmetry only when this plane is dividing the left side of the network and the right side of the network symmetrically that is when you put a mirror in place of the vertical plane then you will have the mirror image of left side same as the right side all these points will become more clear after taking the examples now understand two important points related to vertical plane of symmetry whenever you have the vertical plane of symmetry then the points on the vertical plane of symmetry have the same potential very important point the second point says the branches which are mirror image about the vertical plane of symmetry have the same current so remember these two points related to the vertical plane of symmetry and now we will understand what is horizontal plane of symmetry in short we call it HPS and to understand what is HPS let us take two points of any network and we are required to calculate the equivalent resistance between these two points and we will join these two points like this to have a straight line and you will think of making horizontal plane of symmetry instead of vertical plane of symmetry when you see that the upper portion of the network is symmetrical to the lower portion of the network with respect to this line and it is very easy to understand what is horizontal plane of symmetry it is a horizontal plane so simply it is a plane passing through a and b points and if the upper portion of the network is symmetrical to the lower portion of the network with respect to our horizontal plane we call it horizontal plane of symmetry very easy to understand and with respect to horizontal plane of symmetry there is one important point and the point is all the points which are mirror image about the horizontal plane of symmetry have the same potential very important point and this will be more clear when we take our examples so let's move on to our first example in the first example we have this network all the resistors have the value equal to small r and we are required to calculate the resistance between a and b points now we will first make the horizontal plane and after making 
the horizontal plane, it is clear that the upper portion of the network is not symmetrical to the lower portion and therefore this horizontal plane is not horizontal plane of symmetry. Now we will make the vertical plane and after making the vertical plane it is clear that the left side of the network is symmetrical to the right side. You can compare the position of the resistors and their values. You will find the left side is the mirror image to the right side. Therefore, the vertical plane we have drawn is the vertical plane of symmetry. And now we will use the properties we are having for vertical plane of symmetry. According to the first property, the points on vertical plane of symmetry have the same potential. Therefore, this point here and this point here will have the same potential. Now when they have the same potential, then the potential difference across this resistor is equal to zero. That is, voltage across this resistor is equal to zero. And when voltage is zero, then current will also be zero. This means no current will flow through this resistor and by the equivalent resistance we mean the total resistance offered to the current flow and when there is no current flow through this resistor then it will not contribute to our equivalent resistance and therefore we will remove this resistor. So when we redraw the network, then it will look like this. This is point A, this is point B and then we have R connected in series with R between A and B and we can write R and R in series equal to 2 times R. Therefore we have one resistor between A and B for this branch having the resistance 2 times R and then we have R and R in series again so we will have one resistor between A and B having the value 2 times R and then we have this resistor having the value R so between A and B, we have three resistors in parallel having the values 2R, 2R and R. Therefore, our equivalent resistance can be calculated from the formula of parallel combination of resistors that is 1 over RAB. This is equivalent resistance equal to 1 over twice of R plus 1 over twice of R plus 1 over R. When you simplify this, you will get the equivalent resistance is equal to R over 2. So this is our answer. Now we will move on to our example number 2. And in this example, we are required to calculate the equivalent resistance between A and B. And we will make the horizontal plane and you can see that the horizontal plane is dividing the upper part and the lower part symmetrically. Therefore, the horizontal plane is horizontal plane of symmetry and we know in horizontal plane of symmetry the points which are mirror image about the horizontal plane of symmetry have the same potential. So you can see that this point here and this point here are the mirror image about the HPS therefore they will have the same potential and the potential difference across these two resistors will be zero and therefore no current will flow through them and hence we are left with these two resistors in series and then these two resistors in series and finally they are in parallel so between a and B we have 
one resistor having the value 2 times R connected in parallel with another resistor having the value 2 times R and finally we have the equivalent resistance equal to 2R multiplied to 2R divided by 2R plus 2R. When you solve this you will have R as the answer. Now there is one point which will help you in simplification. Here you can see that two resistors having the same value are connected in parallel and whenever you have two resistors having the same values connected in parallel then simply the equivalent resistance will be half of the value of resistance. Therefore we have 2R divided by 2 equal to R. Now focus on these two resistors. They are in parallel having the value 2R 2R. Therefore in place of them we can have a single resistor having the value 2R by 2 that is R. So we have one resistor in place of them having the value R and therefore between A and B we have two resistors having the value R. So again we will divide the value of resistance by 2 and finally we have R over 2. So I hope you now understand how to calculate the equivalent resistance using the symmetry of the network. And we have solved one problem using this property and one problem using this property but we have not solved a single problem using this property. So in the next lecture we will take one problem in which we will apply this property and this property is an important property therefore you have to see the next lecture to complete this topic.